What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Harrison, and I think I'm wrong about this. So um, today, as of uh, uh, January 19th, I had, I had po posted a short about you know the firing of the 10,000 Microsoft employees, including 343 Industries, which, of course, makes Halo. And I just read this rumor, and I'll, I'll link the article in the uh, description below. But as far as we know, the campaign... And any sort of like campaign DLC may be dead. So um, this comes from uh, Resetera.com. Um, basically, in summary, 343 seems to have lost around one third of its workforce, uh, internal and contractors. 23, 2023 plans seem unchanged by this major reshape. Focus was still was and still is on multiplayer for this year. Forge. Um, new seasons, uh, maps, um, all that good stuff. Basically, everything they've already announced in their in their uh, in season three come and coming up. Uh, before Bonnie Ross quitting, Joseph Staten was a, with a small team was preparing to ship multiple contained campaign DLC to expand its narrative over the months or even years. This plan was stopped when Pierre Hints Hints something like that. And the new roles came in after Ross, as they've seen too much complexity in creating new content for campaign. Plus, was not enough profitable for them to sustain. Uh, probably because it would just hit Game Pass. So and um, yeah, you know. So they decided to completely halt them in favor of focus on multiplayer. Only for the time being, this may have led to Staten deciding to leave too. So I mean that, that makes sense, you know. Multiplayer uh, Halo launched. I mean, great, but they just couldn't sustain the user base because there wasn't enough content drops. Um, Halo Infinite largely missed its financial and overall goals and led to Microsoft's decision to halt 343 active development, transforming or regressing them into franchise, franchise coordinators. This means that other than supporting Halo Infinite multiplayer, which is already largely externalized to a certain affinity, Spearsoft and others, their role will be limited to make sure different external studios will create further Halo projects Direct sequels to Infinite Story or spinoffs or different genre, respecting all the established lore and fundamentals for the IP. Slipspace Engine is still in place along with its internal engineers, but it will be opened up to learn and use also to all external studios working with the IP if they want. In this sense, 343 together with Microsoft Game Publishing started contracting with external studios to create future Halo experiences together since 2020. Also, with the aim to reduce, optimize cost and, and budget the uh, the franchise. So basically, Halo as as it as we know it has arrived to an end. So this article says, uh, if this claims are true, as generally the source provided in the past, this means that we could we would wait a very long time to see a proper sequel to Master Chief's story on Zeta Halo, while simultaneously seeing Halo Infinite multiplayer still supported with the Halo franchise expanded with smaller projects. Each of them as a different spin on this universe by different studios and artists. So that is a lot to take on. Um, it, it, it's, a, it's, it's a shame because I, I stated in my short today that I really loved Halo's campaign. Like I, I thought it's an incredible like open world it works so well within Halo. The grappling hook is probably the best grappling hook in video games. Uh, but obviously, nowadays, people people just don't care about campaign that much. I mean, everything has a battle fest. I mean, even look at um, the suit, the new Suicide Squad game. There, there's there's leaks of like the the battle pass esque stuff in there, and it's crazy. And I, I know. You know, a lot of people were very high on Halo's multiplayer when it launched. I mean, it, they had a weird launch, right? They had the, the multiplayer launch first, and then they dropped the campaign. Um, or, or was it vice versa? I can't remember. I think I think they dropped the campaign first, and then they dropped the multiplayer. In, anyways, I can't I can't quite remember. It was so long ago. It, like a year ago. But, <laughs> um, I mean, people people just, they, they played it for like a month or two and just dropped off. And I... I get it. I, I certainly do. We are in a very different world than what Halo used to be back in the day, like Halo 2. I mean, look, Halo 2 had like the map pass that map packs that would drop on the disc. <laughs> so, I mean, it's it's a very different world we live in with 
with the battle royales and the battle passes and all that stuff. And I just, I don't know why 343 wasn't ready for that or they didn't prepare well enough. You know, I've talked about 343 being mismanaged and I was hoping with today's news to try to spin it a little bit. You know, obviously 10,000 people losing their jobs is, is horrible, but I was thinking, you know, maybe, maybe we'll get some new, you know, leadership within 343 but right now it sounds like they're just focusing on multiplayer and, and that's fine like I, i'm really excited for season three but also like i really wanted campaign stuff so it, it's it's frustrating um because we don't i don't think we ever have even gotten like campaign dlc but infinite was supposed to be like the 10 year game right they, that they would just add to it and it doesn't seem like they will, but it's also a shame because, you know, there, there's other games like No Man's Sky that came out very lackluster in content, and over the few years, they, they just kept dropping stuff, and then they had bigger and bigger and bigger updates, and then the game sold very well. So, like, with all the money that Microsoft has, granted, they had all these layoffs to save money, it's um you know they could have poured that back into into halo and and added more campaign stuff but it, it seems like we're still getting multiplayer stuff but for three for three to almost be kind of pulled away when they are the halo studio and there's all the other all these other studios focusing on multiplayer stuff and and other halo projects it seems kind of crazy um let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you care about halo at all you know i i still definitely do um you know it was one of it's it's one of my favorite you know franchises growing up um let me know what you guys think and uh give this video a like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one thank y'all so much for watching this video i really appreciate it consider subscribing to the channel i'll let youtube algorithm pick one of my videos below for you guys to watch give it a give it a click and i hope you enjoy and i will see you in the next video